Hello, and welcome to another episode of What's on Draft. As always, we are coming to you from sunny San Diego County, California. In today's episode, we're going to follow our good friends at Ebullition Brew Works as they endeavor to break into the San Diego beer market. San Diego is widely regarded as the craft beer capital of the entire country. But with over 150 breweries in the county, the craft beer market has become saturated, which poses an extra challenge for new breweries like Ebullition as they attempt to gain traction. While this market saturation is challenging for beer producers, it is less so for those who simply sell craft beer without having to manufacture it. This is Bo, and he is one of the founders of Project Bar & Grill in Hillcrest, formerly known as The Brew Project. In short order, Project has established a reputation of having one of the best draft lists in San Diego. 2015, we got ranked Best New Beer Bar in San Diego by Thrillist. Last year, we won Best Draft Selection and Rotation by West Coaster Magazine. This year, we were fortunate enough to be recommended as the number three spot by The New York Times. You may remember Bo from our season three premiere episode, Hostile Tap Takeover. In this scene, our fictional brewery Sleepaway Brew Co. is unable to get an account with Project legitimately, so the brewery founders distract Bo, switch out his tap handles, and give him a surprise invoice in an attempt to keep their brewery in business. This scripted clip is all fun and games, but it does speak to an aspect of the craft beer economy that is favorable to beer buyers like Project. Yeah, I mean, being a beer buyer is great in San Diego because there's no shortage of great beer. It's a great time to be in beer. Um, as a lot of people predicted, there is kind of a a little bubble going on. In economic terms, a bubble is when there's a rapid escalation of asset prices followed by a contraction. When people talk about the craft beer bubble, they're typically talking about brewery closures. In 2017, 165 U.S. breweries closed down, but nearly a thousand new ones opened, so this doesn't technically meet the actual definition of a bubble. But there have been closures, like Chuck Alec, shown here. Our most recent brewery closure in San Diego is Intergalactic Brewing Company. If you're watching this before July 31st, 2018, you should make your best efforts to get down to Miramar and buy some of this great beer before it's gone for good, as Intergalactic founder Alex will be offering deals on Crowler fills and pints. If you're watching this after July 31st, 2018, you have sadly missed out on one of the finest ale producers in San Diego's vibrant beer history. This is an aspect of living in the craft beer capital that is challenging for beer producers. With so much to choose from, it can be difficult to stand out in the crowd, even if your beer is phenomenal. It is difficult to get on drafts. There are a lot of breweries that come in here on a regular basis that are trying to get their beers in. We have people knocking on the door all the time. We've already had three reps come in today. I mean, we can blank in one weekend, there'll be three or four that open. The hardest part for us is really making sure that we continue to get a lot of the smaller, smaller new guys because it's really difficult to keep track of and remember all the beers. You know, many people ask, how do we choose what beers go on draft? How do we balance our draft list? How do we choose what glassware goes in? How to price it? What breweries to buy from? Because uh, it is a lot more expensive to operate an establishment that doesn't serve Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, where all the kegs are just over $100. Most of our kegs are usually between $190 and $220. So one of the things that we're doing today is we're gonna do a private beer tasting um, in our booths over here where we invite 15 of our beer club members uh, to participate in a normal beer tasting that a beer buyer would go through and help choose the beers that are gonna be on draft because they're the ones that are actually gonna end up buying them. The most important thing is that the beer is good, <laughs> that it's clean, it's flavorful. Back in Vista, Jesse fills four growlers with Ebullition's best offerings for the discerning palates of these honorary beer buyers. He then heads down to Hillcrest with Mike, the head brewer, and Eric, one of the co-founders. Can you guess which of these three men is the brewer? It's been about three weeks since our grand opening. You know, things are just you know steady, and we're just trying to keep it rocking. Basically, we're just trying to dip our toe into distribution, get our beer out there, get people tasting the beer. And then we're going to be doing a podcast with uh, San Diego Beer Talk. Are you nervous? Well, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. What about you guys? You nervous about it? I'm just going to sit there and not say anything like I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect for radio. <laughs> The boys headed inside. Bo approached them and introduced himself. Everything was going swimmingly until you brought enough for so we can taste ten people on it. Ooh, ten people! Did the Ebullition boys bring enough beer? What will happen if I'm just messing with you? This isn't a fucking reality show. There are thirty twos, so there thirty twos. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we can yeah. More like half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that non-crisis sorted, it was time to begin. 
Bo led them down to the patio, made a quick introduction, and then Jesse took the floor. How you guys doing? Good. We got a 10 barrel brew house up in Vista, in the Vista Business Park. We're number 17 out of 17. We're excited to serve you guys some beer. So you guys ready to do it? All right, cool. I feel like it was well received. We brought something a little different for people too. Not just your standard, you know, IPA lineup. We wanted to, them to see a kind of a breadth of different beers. They were really excited by the Gruet. That's something different. It's um, made without hops. It's weird, you know, you kind of, you're in your own bubble and you're doing your thing and you forget that you're actually uh, making something the public's going to eventually try and it's always a little nerve wracking, you know, because you've, you've put everything into it, but then when people do taste it and they like it and it's, that's some of the best part and when you can really open people up to new flavors and, and show them things that they've been drinking the whole time but didn't realize what it was, that's uh, kind of the exciting part for me. Ebullition had passed their beer tasting with flying colors, but they still had to impress the beer scene veterans of SD Beer Talk Radio. San Diego Beer Talk is a very popular listener-funded podcast surrounding the topic of, you guessed it, San Diego beer. But they're not the only podcast focused on this subject. There is also local podcasts Let Me Drink About It, hosted by Two Handsome Jakes, and 3B Zine, which are both all about San Diego beer specifically. In other words, there is so much going on in the world of San Diego beer that there are at least three podcasts dedicated solely to beer just in this one city. If you want to listen to Ebullition's SD Beer Talk podcast in its entirety, it's episode number 139 on sdbeertalk.com. As of the release of this episode of What's on Draft, there are currently 173 episodes of SD Beer Talk Radio, and they're still going strong. In fact, this lady, who was a beer taster at the time we shot this footage, is now one of the hosts of SD Beer Talk Radio. Her name is Estella. <laughs> It is no small task to penetrate the highly esteemed beer market of San Diego. But if you put the work in, one customer at a time, and you have good beer, it does still seem to be possible. Project did end up deciding to carry ebullition on draft. So the moral of the story is that you should follow your dreams. By the time this episode comes out, it will have been nearly a year since ebullition opened to the public, and their beer should finally be available in cans in the coming weeks. Their first anniversary parties will be happening in September or October 2018, so check their social media and website for info about that, or just stop by the tasting room in Vista if you're feeling curious. Speaking of feeling curious, we're going to end the program back in Hillcrest for San Diego Gay Pride Weekend 2018, when we stopped by Hillcrest Brewing Company to have a beer. Hillcrest Brewing hails themselves as the first openly gay brewery in the world, even though the head brewer shaver is allegedly straight. Every year they make a special beer for Pride, most notably in 2016 when then-head brewer Austin created a multi-brewery collab beer called All You Need Is Love to benefit the victims of a shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando. This year, Shaver kept it simple and refreshing with a cucumber lager collaboration beer with Ballast Point. For more info about Hillcrest, you can check out our flight tasting episode with them from season one on our YouTube channel. I learned that in homebrewing school. You went to homebrewing school? Yeah, I was top of my class. <laughs> it was homeschool, so. <laughs> Homecoming dance was really awkward. That's it for this episode of What's on Draft. Join us next time for part one of our incredible two-part episode covering New Belgium, Colorado beer, and the Great American Beer Festival. Cheers. Cheers.